Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about the Preferred Installer program in Python. The Preferred Installer program is more frequently referred to as PIP, and PIP allows us to install modules into our workspace that we can then go on to use to build the programs which we want to build. Now, the tutorial today is very heavily based on tutorial number 12, uh, where we covered the topic of modules. And in that tutorial, we looked at how we can make our own modules and how we can work with modules. And during the tutorial, I said that Python has a lot of built-in modules, but several modules are not built-in and need to be installed manually. So today, we're going to be learning about how we can install packages manually. So first off, we need to open up the terminal, and the first command we are going to learn is the pip command. By simply typing in pip, you will get a long text that comes up if you have pip working properly. If you don't, then this won't pop up, and you will have to make sure that you have pip installed correctly in order to carry on following this tutorial. The next command I want to show you is the pip dash dash version command and it tells you what version of pip you have installed. At the moment I have um, something like version 10.0.1 installed. You might have another version but that doesn't matter. You'll be able to follow along um, without a problem anyway. Now let us come to the most important command of today's tutorial, which is the install command. We're going to be installing a package called camel case, and I'll go into what it does later on. It's not that relevant for the moment. You could install any other package, but let's go ahead and type in pip install, and then the package name, which is camel case. I'll go and press enter, and now you'll see it is collecting camel case. And um, this is going to take just a few moments for it to load. And you'll see a couple of things happening. And then it says successfully in installed camel case. So that is how you install a package. Now, how could we check what packages we actually have installed. After all, we don't really know where to find them. So we can simply type in pip and then list. And it will give you a list of all the packages which are currently installed. In our case, we have just installed the camel case. And then we have the pip and the setup tools which are there by default. So now we are moving on to um, the next thing, which is I want to show you that by installing the package, which we just installed, uh, the camel case package, we can indeed now use the functions which are in that package. So if I go ahead and import camel case, you'll see that this already pops up which is a good sign that it knows where it is. We can import it and now um, we can um, go ahead and um, use this package. We're going to refer to a function in this package, uh, which is the hump package. So let's go ahead and write camel case camel case dot camel case dot hump and then we are going to pass in a string which is going to be hello how are you doing and then we are going to go on to print this entire um, code so that we see uh, what comes out. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and run this. 
and you'll see that in the console it outputs hello how are you doing and the way we know that the module um, is installed properly and we can actually access functions is by comparing the outcome that we have here and the input which we put into the function over here. So the camel case package, it basically um, turns a sentence into camel case. And what that means is that it turns the first letter of every word into capital. And since it has in fact done that, um, as you can see here in the console output, it has turned every single um, beginning of the word into a capital. It has indeed worked. That means the package is in fact installed properly and we can use the functions that are in the package. All right, so now that we see that the package is installed properly and we can use functions within the package, let's see what we can, what else we can do. So let's go back to the terminal and we are now going to uninstall the package which we just installed. So to, un to uninstall a package, you need to write pip uninstall and then the package name which you want to uninstall, camel case. And now it asks you whether or not you want to proceed. And by typing Y, you will now finally delete the package which you just installed. And then if we type in pip list again, you will see that the package we had before, which was camel case, is not listed in the packages anymore. So we have successfully deleted the package. So if we go back to the code which we just wrote a moment ago um, over here, if we try and run this code now, you will see that there is an error. And the reason why is that we simply deleted the package from our works, workspace. And since the package isn't there anymore, the, the function which we're referring to over here isn't there anymore. So that is why it gives us an error. All right, so we're going to leave it at that for this small and short tutorial on the preferred installer program in Python. If this video has helped you out and you would like to support this channel, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see each other in the next video.